Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me. I am still T Masso at thewatchbox.com. It is still in the description below. It is still your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Reach out to me for pricing. I am T Masso at thewatchbox.com. Today we discuss a model launched in late 2018 for the 2019 model year. The first automatic watch from the Grunefeld brothers, Tim and Bart. This is the 1941 Principia. Named after Isaac Newton's magnum opus, the Principia Mathematica, the watch is 39.5 millimeters in diameter, and this example right here is in real steel, so stainless steel, 39.5 in diameter, 10.4 millimeters thick, from lug tip to lug tip, 46.9 millimeters, with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference. Wears quite comfortably. I could recommend this watch for a wrist of 14 centimeters circumference, maybe even 13 and a half if your wrist is really flat. You can see these lugs are nowhere near the edge of my wrist, even over the top, which always exaggerates the width of the watch. You can see that the lugs are not really arcing over the edge, and I'm pulling the strap pretty tight. It's a fairly flat watch, and with a concave bezel, it will slip underneath the dress cuff. It's a sporty watch, but it's a sporty dress watch, and that's important. There are several different straps available, and every time I encounter this watch on a different strap, I review it separately so you can get a good look at what these straps are like. It is a buffalo leather strap, so you can see there's a little bit of a spotted profile to it, uh, contrasting cyan stitch. Maybe it's even a little bit more teal than cyan. Taking a quick look, you can see it's bolstered to give it volume and thickness, sheer cut and profile that shows you the layers of leather. And then you can see the leather on the back is bright orange, reminding you that these watches are made in Oldenzaal in the Netherlands. Orange army represent no crimping, no gouging. You can see it as a brand new Grunefeld factory strap. It is handmade like the rest of the watch. We have a small stainless steel pin buckle. Looks like it was made by FTOR, which is a Richemont owned case buckle and clasp maker in Switzerland. You can see that the profile of the buckle, which is Grunefeld branded, matches the profile of the lugs. There's nice design parallelism in that. There's even a little recess in the buckle for the pin, so attention to detail is superb. Taking a quick look, the lugs are dramatically scalloped in profile and then fluted across their top. They come to a tapered point and they are quite shapely. The case itself is fairly complex. Everything's of high polish, but you can see how the bezel is concave all the way around, even though it swells somewhat at six o'clock and 12 o'clock. We have a knurled crown that's conical in profile with the Grunefeld logo, and then we move to the dial, which is the focal point at the front of the watch. Again, Dutch orange. We have some blue printing, which makes for a nice, subtle, colorful contrast. We have polished chapter rings for the downwardly stepped small seconds and center dial, and you can see that it's a lovely media blast texture. We have a chaptering outboard in dark blue, and then we have fired blue alpha style hands in steel at the center with a polished center that's mirrored and then a polished cannon pinion bearing the minute hand right there. You can see that the indices are mirror polished on their top, applied as separate structures to the dial, and then micro faceted, almost like twinkling razors. It is a beautiful dial, and of course, yes, made in the Netherlands. Well, the Grunefelds have generally closed their order book. You can still get most Grunefelds models through us here at the 1916 company as we tend to keep a pretty good stock of them. Push down crown, 30 meters water resistance, turn it all over. This is the first automatic caliber sold by the Grunefelds. It is the G06, but they got some help from a friend. This fundamental train architecture and winding system is actually a construction of Andreas Streller, the well-known watchmaker to watchmakers. Taking a quick look, you can see that we have automatic winding via a 22 karat rotor, which is always a luxurious thing in an era of 18, 21 karat, and even rose gold plated tungsten. 56 hour power reserve, three hertz beat rates, 31 pivot joules. It is a three hertz, so 21,600 vibration per hour movement. Braced against shock, it has a full dual anchored balance bridge, which is skeletonized, by the way. And then it is a free sprung balance, again, for toughness. You could see how the shape of the bridge is. It's like the roofs of traditional bell gable houses in the Netherlands designed to make snow slide right off. We have golden chaton, pocket watch style, 
fixing the pivot jewels. That's a nod to the way jewels would be set in golden chaton and then the chaton pressed into bridges back in the olden days of pocket watch manufacture. Six position adjustment is one more than a standard chronometer. I always love to see it. You can see we have a combination of satin, frosting, polish and beveling on the rotor. I love those points, those beveled points flanking either side of the ball bearing. And you can see the ball bearing is actually ceramic for ultra high efficiency. The barrel is solarized. All screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. You can see satination on the wheels. And you can see how each bridge has been media blasted within its recess and then has a satin channel that runs around its edge and then on its edge its outermost face i should say you see a mirrored bevel it's a really impressive finish there's also engine turning on the base plate it leaves nothing to be desired and this is a gorgeous movement with bridges of stainless steel and you might ask why stainless steel is a very difficult material to finish so why use it because it is a very difficult material to finish. The Grunefeld brothers have an impressive pedigree as watchmakers, having worked at Audemars Piguet, Renault et Papi, and even done contract finishing of parts for APRP later on as independents, which is to say their pedigree in finishing is second to none, which is why this is a beautiful movement, not to be mistaken with, for example, what you see in the Streller Cerna, using the same basic train architecture. This stands on its own four lugs. Reach out to Team Asa with the watchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.